Okay, this is the second video. The other one was like 16 minutes long. I wasn't trying to make that long, but I do like to cover things adequately, I feel. So this second one, we're just going to use the uh, things we learned in the first video, hopefully, to figure out questions that you're very likely to see in the future. It's almost like the first part was about naming the angles, and this one's more about finding their value. So let's look at a couple sample problems. For instance, let's look at this one. Now, in this one, I know, the I know the value of this angle being 94, and this one is x. Now, I need to determine what the value of x is. And I can do it based on whether they are at the same crossing or they're different. In this case, they're at the same crossing. They're both at this plus. It kind of looks like a modified plus, which is why I started calling it a crossing. Based on the same crossing idea, they share a side. You see how they both share this side? Which means that they are supplementary. So what I'm going to do is x plus 94 equals 180 degrees. Subtract 94 from both sides. So my final answer, or the value of x, is x equals 86 degrees. And that's because they share a side. Now if x had been over here, so let's say y is over on this side, um, they're still in the same crossing, but instead of sharing a side, they don't share a side anymore because they've got this. The only thing they share is this single point, or the butt. So they share a butt. They're vertical, which means they're congruent. So the value of y is 94 degrees. So let's look at another one. Since we've done that one, what else will we do, right? Now this is one of those ones that has um, different crossings involved. So I'm going to have to use but or butt, which we talked about in the first video. If you didn't see the first video, uh, you didn't see the but or butt thing, I pick an angle at the top and I'm going to pick this side this time. Pick, m uh, I'm going to mark it. I'm going to mark the angle at its butt. I'm going to do the cross, uh, the Zorro thing, and then I'm going to mark its butt. And I'll do it in a second. It'll make a heck of a lot more sense. If you didn't see the first video, if you saw the first video, then I may be a little overly long in the explanation this time, but not very much, I hope. So I'm going to pick an angle in this set, and it does not have to be one of the marked angles. I'm just going to pick um, this angle right here, and I'm going to mark it. And you could just do it with a little angle thing if you want. I like to do it in colors this time just to make it easier. Now I'm going to mark the angle that has the same butt. There's the butt, so I need to, it's kind of like I'm taking this and flipping it over top. So this angle, the 66, is the one that I would mark. Then I would do my Zorro thing, so in this case it's easier because I can just make the Z. Just follow the lines. So since I did this one, I need to do this one. It's almost like I'm making two bow ties. And then, so I did butt, I did Zorro, now I need to do butt again, and I'm going to mark this angle. That's just to make sure you cover all the types. Now, I said in my original that if they were both marked, then the angles are congruent. Well, in this case, the 66 is in green and the X is in green, so X is equal to 66 degrees. Now, if I had done, let's say, Y. In this case, Y is not marked and X is marked. Or sorry, 66 is marked. I'm sorry, I don't know why I said X again. So 66 is marked, it's in green. Y is not. So in order to figure out what Y is, I need to do Y plus 66 is equal to 180. Because really, the supplementary and the congruent are the only two choices that you really have as long as it's as simplified as this. So you just do 180 minus 66. So Y's value equals 114. Now, let's look at another one that doesn't work out so easily with just numbers. Sometimes you get them and they have variables in them. But I'm going to follow the same pattern as I did before. I'm going to do, they're not on the same crossing. This one's here. This one relates to this crossing. So I'm going to do but Zorro. But once you do but Zorro but a little bit, you start to realize that really it's just top right, and you go right, left, right, left. So in this case, this one is not marked, and this one is not marked also. So when they are both not marked, or both unmarked, they're congruent. So I'm going to set 6x plus 16 equal to 70. Subtract 16 on both sides. And divide by 6. 
x is equal to 9. Now that might be the answer they're looking for. They may say, hey, what's the value of x? And you just say x is equal to 9. If they ask for this value for some reason, it may be uh, darker or whatever, and they may say, what's the angle of 6x plus 6, or what's the value of this angle? And they may even name it. They give you letters. And if you would, you just plug the 9 back in for x here. So you do 6 times 9, which is 54, plus 16, which is 70. Or you could just say, oh, they're both not marked, so what would be the point of finding it anyway? It's got to be 70 if this is 70. So let's look at another one. Uh, this is one where they're at different crossings. This one's up here. This one's down here. So I'm going to use but. Zorro. But. Both marked, right? If they're both marked, I set them equal to each other. Negative 6 plus 16x equals 14x plus 6. At this point, the algebra should be very simple for you to do. If it's not, I've got tons of videos on solving equations with variables on both sides. Or at least I have one. Or I have tons of videos, but some of them have to do with this. Anyway, whatever. Add 6 to both sides. I don't know why I was, felt like the need to digress there. Um, divide by 2. So x is equal to... 6. And you could test to see if they're the same if you want, because uh, they're supposed to be negative 6 plus 16, parentheses, I'm going to put 6 in there, and I get 90, uh, 14, 6 plus 6, and I get 90 as well. And even though they don't look like 90 degree angles, it doesn't matter. Uh, they will say uh, that you can, they'll say that they're not drawn to scale almost all the time. So just because it doesn't look like a 90 degree angle, you have to kind of use your imagination. And not just in mine, I mean I basically took these, or the concept from uh, one of the resources that I've been using, but I didn't, I changed the numbers around a little bit. But it still works that way. I've been, I've missed some on tests when I was uh, in school doing that too. Now in this case, you don't want to get too overly excited and start doing but, Zora but. See, in this case, they're sharing the same crossing, right? I grabbed the wrong paper. That wouldn't help. It's this one. They're sharing the same crossing. Now, they are sharing a side. So that means that they are supplementary. So I need to set them equal to 180 when I add them together. Now, I did this one in green for a reason. In this case, the question was not, was not asking me to find x. It wants me to find the value of this angle. And it's darker in the one that I uh, kind of took the idea from, but I decided to make mine green. I don't know why. So I would do 6x minus 4 plus 14x plus 4 equals 180. Draw the line, clean your room, so combine like terms, 6 plus 14 is 20, and negative 4 plus 4 would be 0, so I need to divide by 20 on both sides, x is equal to 9. Now that's a great answer, x is equal to 9 is fine, it's not the answer they're looking for, so be very careful to read the question and see what they want, because if you do a multiple choice style test, it's possible that they'll give you 9 as a choice. But they want to know this, so all you do is go back in, plug in your 9, where the x was supposed to be, and you get 130 degrees. This one should equal 50, right? So let's try it. Yep, it equals 50. So you can plug it in and get it that way. So don't be, don't always go but, Zora but. Make sure you pay attention. If it's on the same crossing, Share a side, they're supplementary. If they're across from each other, they're equal, or vertical angles. Uh, last one, and this is the same type as before, but this is one where you're, you should use but, zero, but. Uh, top right, find the but. Zorro this time. And the but. Now in this case, one is marked and one is not. When one's marked and one's not, that means they're supplementary. So you need to set them equal to 180 when you add them together. And remember, this green thing means I got to plug. I need to plug the answer back in. I really want to stop saying I've got to because that's really bad English. I don't know where I picked that up. I've just been doing it a lot lately, and I apologize. 89x, and then one and one. Spoiler alert, too. So 
So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. 178. Now, uh, I need to get rid of 89, or I need to get rid of times 89, so I'm going to divide. So my value for x is 2, but be very careful to mark up your paper so you remind yourself that x is 2, because if it's multiple choice, once again, da -da -da, that's not the question they want answered. So you've got, uh, you need to go back into 47, see I almost did it again, you need to go back into uh, 47x plus 1, plug that 2 in as a multiplier, because they're touching. and that gives you 95. So that's the real answer, 95 degrees is the real answer that you'll want. Let's test this one just really quickly. And it gives me 85, and if you do 180 minus 85, you get 95, which is what you should get. So these really aren't that difficult. If they're on the same crossing, you need to use either supplementary if they share a side, or congruence if they, ha if they share a butt, because oh, they're vertical angles. And if they share a side, they're also adjacent, whatever. Um, if they are on different crossings, if you need to name them, name them based on uh, where they are. So in this case, they're on the same side of the line, and they're both inside, so these would be same side interior, or consecutive interior, that's possible too. Both those names are acceptable. Uh, angles. Um, on the one we were doing before, these are simple supplementaries. I'm going to play the quick name game through all of them real fast. In this case, one's on top. Uh, this one's inside and this one's outside, but they're in the same relative spot, both top right in each crossing. So they're corresponding because one corresponds to the other. In this one, they're interior. They're on opposite sides of the uh, transversal, so they're opposite interior. Opposite interior again. And there isn't any real relationship between 66 and Y, or ones that you would name, per se. And in this case, these are uh, sharing a side, so they are adjacent or supplementary. So that's it. It shouldn't be uh, too big of a deal to figure out what you want to do next. Just uh, Follow the rules, and they're really pretty simple. Also, make sure, so you don't frustrate yourself, that you answer the question they ask. If they ask for x, give them x. If they ask for the angle, make sure you plug x back in and get the angle. So good luck on uh, your assignments, and I hope everything works for you.